Your feet, they echo upon the flagstones. Your breath stirs the dust. Who are you who walk this hall in the flesh? In life, I was Keladon, first captain of the Company of the Westering Sun. In death, I am nothing. The dead have no titles. You stand within the Hall of Remembrance. I am one of its many prisoners, all soldiers of the Westering Sun, all fallen in battle, all slain by treachery. Our spirits are shackled to the walls and shadows of this tower. We are doomed to stand, to remember, and to wait for Elrith's release, and our own. Who is Eldrin? Much time has passed, I see, for how many names to have been ground beneath time's heel. Have you not heard of Eldrith the Betrayer? The Traitress of Swords, Eldrith of the Westering Sun? That she has been forgotten is... irony of a sort. Eldrith was one of the greatest generals of the Sword Coast, commander of the Company of the Westering Sun. Sworn sword and defender of Baldur's Gate. She served with honor and distinction in the first and last seasons of the Sundering War, the Crescent Port Siege, and finally, the campaign against the Black Horde. In all these battles, she was victorious. Where she led, we followed. Glory drew us, loyalty kept us and we were proud to serve beneath her banner. Our lives were hers. I do not know when pride burrowed into her heart, but it poisoned her. It was a poison I did not see until it was too late. Eldrith had fought too many battles, achieved too many victories, and she had come to see the city of Baldur's Gate as her own. You will find her at the top of this tower, at her watch, waiting for battle. She knows you are here, and she has attempted to seal you within this hall, as the stones of the Onyx Tower obey her will. But even as she is the mistress of the tower, our spirits are part of the tower as well. I shall allow the stones of this hall to part, so that you may reach her, and I pray, kill her for the last time. I pray the gods favor you. If not, then I fear no one shall be able to stop her. <laughs>